Hey guys, I'm out here at the Open Book Build prototype home. We've just stripped the wall panels for the poured foundation walls and we're waiting on the waterproofing contractor to show up. Right now, part of our online training course for how to build this house and how we built it is showing you guys what quality inspections we do on a daily basis to make sure we build a quality house. I'm gonna show you today about six or seven things we wanna check on this foundation to make sure it was done properly so that we won't have any problems in the future. Let's take a look. So one of the differences guys between like say a tiny home that sits on a flatbed trailer and the open book build here, we're actually using a, a real foundation that's anchored into the ground. Then we're gonna have these anchor bolts that basically attach the house, the framing to the foundation. Right now we're gonna check and make sure the anchor bolts are where they're supposed to be. Our architect has specified we need the anchor bolts within 12 inches of the corner on either side of it as well as every 48 inches thereafter. So we're gonna check that and make sure we have that all the way around the house. So we also wanna make sure that the foundation wall is centered on the spread footing. So as you can see here, the foundation wall comes down, is centered on the spread footing that's 16 inches wide and spreads out the weight of the house and its contents onto the ground. If that wall is off center, it creates what's, what's called an unbalanced load and a rotational force on that footing and it's not a good situation. So we're just gonna go by, make sure that we've got at least four or five inches all the way around the foundation so that we know that we're centered with the wall. So we also wanna make sure that the wall had a consistent pour. We wanna see this brick pattern throughout if they've used brick forms like this. And we wanna make sure there aren't any voids in that concrete around the whole foundation. If that happens, sometimes when they're placing the concrete between the forms, you'll have those voids. And that can create like a structural issue, if not just a cosmetic. So we want to make sure everything's consistently smooth and full. We also want to make sure all the wall ties have been removed. So we have a nice smooth surface for the waterproofing to adhere to the outside of the foundation wall. And we're going to check all of our house plan measurements to make sure that the foundation walls match. Next, we're going to site the foundation walls to make sure they're level within a quarter of an inch. You can also use a laser level that you can rent for about 50 bucks a day to check this as well. We also want to check all the setbacks, so we're going to take a tape measure from the front foundation wall out to the right away at the street to make sure we're in the right spot. Here, we're checking the offset hubs at the rear of the property, the rear of the foundation wall to make sure the foundation in the back is in line with where it's supposed to be. And by lining up these two hubs, these stakes, we can see that it's right on where it needs to be. We're also going to check that the foundation is square. We do this by taking diagonal measurements along the foundation, shown here in red. And because we're going to be finishing the basement in the future, we want to make sure that the escape windows are set at the right height. Our plan has them at 36 inches off finished floor. So that does it for the open book build foundation quality check. Next up in this series will be the review of the waterproofing.